Uh, Mr. President, thank you. Um, you know, these are not partisan talking points. This is not partisan rhetoric. This is my reality. I'm not suggesting for one moment uh, that my friend from the Bronx didn't experience what he experienced. I believe, in fact, that uh, he is telling the truth. He is advocating for his constituency. Um, I am not sorry that I have offended some people in this room today. I'm not, because I spoke from the heart and I spoke on behalf of the people that I represent. You know what is lazy? Is setting up a program uh, that can't get out of its own way. I don't give a damn if we put $10 billion into the pot of money. If we can't get it into the hands of struggling New Yorkers in Manhattan, struggling New Yorkers in the Bronx, what difference does it make? What difference does it make how much money is in the pot if we can't get it out the door? So with all due respect, I spoke about the reality of the people in the 52nd Senate District. And damn it, that's exactly what I was elected to do. So you know who I didn't offend? I didn't offend the people back in 52. Uh, I made them proud today because I stood up and I fought for them. I fought for, I'm fighting for Charlie Aiello. I'm fighting for Marianne Burke. I'm fighting for Mike Dunlap and so many more. Mr. President, I vote no.